Nigeria had the love of this country to know that our handshake was important for us to unite our country. We haven't, we have, we have not been as united as we should have been. We have failed in some areas. We ask, and specifically myself, I ask for your forgiveness. We cannot play around. Our country is at a crossroads this time. Raila Odinga wins. Let us first now bring the country together. Yeah. Let us unite the country and speak with one voice as one voice. Yes. When you make a choice, you change the future. Kenya's father of democracy, Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga, the leader of the Orange Democratic Movement, has set his heart on changing Kenya's future for good and is not backing down from that goal. We don't want to be compared with failed states. Kenyans want to be compared with successful uh, countries and examples. Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga, an amazing Kenyan, an incredible African, a peacemaker, and a politician of fine repute. New Africa Broadcasting Network, NABN-TV, researched. Odinga family, an advocate of political freedom. It would be impossible to write a history of Kenya without mentioning the Odinga family. The family is noted for fighting for political freedom and economic and social empowerment in Kenya. His Excellency, late Jeremogi Oginga Odinga, was an influential figure in Kenya's struggle for independence and a politician from Kenya. A man who endured so much in Kenya's tumultuous and vicious political climate, he was the first vice president of Kenya and a member of the Nationalist Party, KANU, in 1960. Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga followed in many ways the political footsteps of his father. He was a major force for democratization in Kenya. Honorable Raila Odinga was one of the most prominent supporters of the movement for political reform in Kenya, especially for multi-party democracy over Kenya's traditional single-party system. On several occasions, he served time in prison for these activities, including one six-year stint without trial, and received numerous death threats. In 1990, for instance, I was arrested and placed in detention without trial. At that time, very few lawyers were prepared to represent me. But this woman, then a young lawyer, led a team of 27 lawyers to defend my legal detention. Today, Kenya is governed by a multi-party system, which many of Odinga's opponents benefit from. As a rising star of Kenya's political landscape, Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga was elected to the Kenyan parliament in 1992. A Kenyan parliamentarian, he moved a motion to change the constitution in favor of all-inclusiveness, particularly for women's empowerment. When I moved a motion in parliament to set up a select committee on constitutional reforms and was deserted by my colleagues in the opposition, in 2010, Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga worked diligently with the former president of Kenya, His Excellency Muai Kibaki, to adopt a new constitution for Kenya, which reaffirmed many fundamental rights that had been ignored in the past and also returned some of the presidential power to the local government. When the late Muai Kibaki and I pushed for the 2010 constitution, we admitted that was a work in progress, and it needed some further work. Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga's honesty and tenacity make him stand out. Odinga defines himself as Pan-African, and when he speaks about Africa's development and youth empowerment, he does so with passion. Europe has taken either these ties or Africa for granted. At some stage, Europe appeared to embrace the idea of Africa being a hopeless continent. Europe failed to see the emergence of this long-suffering but immensely resilient and endowed continent. But let us take the journey down the memory lane. It has not always been like that. 
And I'm talking to you here as an Afro-optimist, a Pan-Africanist, Afro-optimist who believe that Africa can be developed by African people. Additionally, Odinga is the African Union High Representative for Infrastructure Development. The job entails overseeing various development projects across the African continent. Raila Odinga was on Saturday appointed High Representative for Infrastructure Development in Africa. African Union Commission Chairman Musa Faki Mohamed said in a statement it was part of their expedition to integrate Africa through infrastructure. Mohamed also praised what he called Raila's strong commitment to the ideals of Pan-Africanism and African integration. Who is Raila Omolo Odinga? Raila Omolo Odinga was born on January 7, 1945, at the Maseno Church Missionary Society Hospital in Maseno, Kenya, to His Excellence Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, the first Vice President of Kenya, and to the late Mary Ajuma Odinga. A brilliant young man, Raila Odinga received a scholarship to study at the Technical School Mageburg, now Otto von Guericke University Mageburg, in Germany in 1965. In 1970, he was awarded a Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Then he returned to Kenya. Odinga sought ways to serve his country and improve the lives of Kenya's youth. In the footsteps of his late father, Jaramogi, who was also a teacher, Raila Odinga decided to follow the most important and oldest profession in the world, teaching. He took up a position of a lecturer at the University of Nairobi in order to impact knowledge on Kenyan youths. To address the high unemployment rate in Kenya and empower Kenyan youth, Honorable Raila Odinga founded Standard Processing Equipment Construction and Erection Limited in 1971, later renamed East African Spectre Limited, to address the unemployment crisis. Odinga, a politician of fine repute. Odinga served in different ministries such as the Ministry of Energy, Ministry of Roads, and Ministry of Housing, before running for president in the year 2007. He eventually became the country's second prime minister and used this position to effect political changes within the country. The leader of the Orange Democratic Movement, Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga, is now considered to be the most powerful politician in Kenya. He is expected to be among those people who will be in the presidential ballot box in the forthcoming election, which will be held in August 2022. And we know you are equal to the task. We will support you in every way. These young people you see here will be looking upon you to make their life better in this country. Asante sana, mungu wa He has the massive support of His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, the current president of Kenya. Nione tena kwa mikono nione 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 But Raila had the courage Raila had the strength of mind and spirit Raila had the love of this country to know that a handshake was important for us to unite our country whether the legacy of Jomo Kenyatta and Jeromogi Odinga has influenced the current working relationship between President Uhuru Kenyatta and Honorable Raila Odinga is a positive sign for Kenya. Leo ni leo, 
Tukai na undugu Inawezekana Amani na uhuru Leo ni leo Raha Inawezekana Tupate na ustawi Leo ni leo Na inawezekana A true statesman thinks of the next generation. The leader of the Orange Democratic Movement, Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga, believes so strongly in the empowerment of Kenyan youths, whether he educates them as a Nairobi University lecturer, establishing companies to provide jobs for the youths, he embraces them in every way. And the- we want to partner, want to partnership, not follow us. We want to partner with the youth of this country want to partner with the people of this country so that we can be able to realize the Kenyan potential and achieve the Kenyan dream. And the youths rally round to support him. My name is Setek Julius. I'm Paulina Nangwe. My name is Samuel Murore Thiongo. I'm from Jaikwat University. From Thika Technical. First of all is to affirm my support for the right honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. Why we as youth feel pretty much safer with Raila Odinga? Baba has promised to revamp up uh, factories in all the 47 counties and this is meant to create decent jobs for our young people. Because Raila Amolo Odinga is so much concerned according to the activities he's been doing since time immemorial about the youth. The first thing that impresses me about the agendas of Raila Amolo Odinga is the tax holidays for the small and medium enterprises, youth enterprises and also startups. It's because he has the youth interest at heart. That's why we are so passionate in helping His Excellency Raila Amolo Dinga walk to the State House come 9th of August 2022. Personally, I support Baba the Fifth and looking forward to his presidency. Um, I support Baba because I believe his ideologies are practicable and in the long run it's going to increase income and it's also going to raise the standards of living of the people of Kenya. The health care of Kenyans is of paramount importance to him. Honorable Raila Odinga believes that any country that is interested in achieving greatness must focus on providing quality health care to its citizens, whether public or private. He said he would continue to support any health care provider who is able to provide affordable, quality health care to the citizens of Kenya. We would like to introduce universal health care to our people that every Kenyan who is sick, irrespective of whether he or she has got money, will be able to access quality Medicare. This is the reason why we are here today in Kisumu. And this is a very noble idea. Quality health care has been elusive to a lot of Kenyans, but he has said that he is going to ensure that this is done within the first year of his uh, presidency. Thank you so much, Baba. Uh, This aligns very well with the Kenyan, uh, with the Katani Hospital, uh, where we believe that every Kenyan's life matters and that every Kenyan who needs healthcare should get it, regardless of the socioeconomic status. Again, thank you so much, Baba, for what you will do for the country of Kenya. Women Empowerment Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga is committed to women's empowerment unlike any other presidential candidate in Kenya political history. Raila Odinga is the first presidential candidate to appoint a woman as his running mate. For the first time in the history of our republic and on the seventh multi-party election, history is calling us to close the gender gap in our country. History is calling on us to reciprocate the struggles and fidelity of our women. My dear Kenyans, I have the great honor to announce that I have picked as my running mate and cabinet secretary for justice and constitutional affairs, the Honorable Martha Wangari Karua. Family life. Raila Odinga exchanged wedding vows with Ida, his wife, in 1973. They have four children, Fidel, Rosemary, Raila Jr., and Winnie. Raila Odinga, whose supporters affectionately call Baba, is a master strategist and an excellent political mobilizer. An engineer by training, 
he also has a deep understanding of human systems. Raila Odinga, man of peace. He believes peace should reign in Africa. He was appointed to mediate the Ivorian crisis in 2010 to 2011, which involved widespread violence following elections in Ivory Coast. Raila Odinga believes in the spirit of forgiveness. When he was jailed by Kenya's then-president, Daniel Arap Moy, without trial for six years, as soon as he was released, he returned to support Daniel Arap Moy for his presidential ambition. Honorable Odinga would go the extra mile to preach unity for Kenya. When Honorable Raila Odinga lost election to the current president of Kenya, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Honorable Raila Odinga said, and I quote, We agreed that Kenya is bigger than either of us, so we united together for the interest of all Kenyans. End of quote. His historical handshake moment with President Uhuru Kenyatta on March 9, 2018, after the acrimonious 2017 general election, redefined the scope of Kenya's politics. And one of the greatest things that I shall never forget and I will always go home with is some of the few memories of while working and the things that we have seen done. As a result of just reaching out and shaking hands, there was peace in the country. Honorable Raila Odinga always preaches forgiveness, which in fact inspires many people, especially Kenyan leaders and people in high places, to emulate him. We, haven't, we, have, we have not been as united as we should have been. We have failed in some areas. We ask, and specifically myself, I ask for your forgiveness. I also know that uh, serving as deputy president, I may have fallen short of expectations of my boss, His Excellency the President, my good friend, I ask for your forgiveness. I forgive everybody. His exemplary spirit of nationhood and patriotism should be emulated by all by moving Kenya forward. The Flame of Freedom, an autobiography detailing his life and struggles, was launched in October 2013. Awards and Achievements Raila Odinga was awarded by Mizani Africa for contributing to democracy in Kenya. Odinga received the joint award granted to him and President Uhuru Kenyatta by the Women Building Bridges for Kenya movement dubbed Embrace, in recognition of the national reconciliation efforts that started with the handshake. In 2018, Honorable Raila Omolo Odinga was honored with a global award on governance by Black Entertainment Film, Fashion Television and Arts in London. He was awarded an honorary degree from Florida A&M University in the United States in 2012. Qualities of a Good Leader a good leader must be open to new ideas, possibilities, and perspectives, and recognize that there is no right way to do things. The key to leadership is the knowledge that success can be achieved by changing the way things are done and trying to think outside the box as much as possible, as well as bringing in fresh ideas. Regardless of the situation, a leader must have the ability to listen, observe, be tolerant, and be flexible. Raila Amolo Odinga has all these qualities a leader requires to lead successfully. Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, a fighter who never quit. He fought for a multi-party system. He won. He fought for a constitutional amendment. He won. He fought for women empowerment. He won. He fought for peace, unity, and political stability in his country, Kenya. And he won. Raila Amolo Odinga is an incredible African, an amazing Kenyan. New Africa Broadcasting Network wishes you the best in your forthcoming election. Good luck. 
We wish to thank the great team behind the scenes that made this documentary possible. Dr. Terrence Baker, executive producer. Dr. Leo Egbujiobi, consulting producer, NABN-TV, Incredible Africa. Thank you for your immense contribution. We appreciate you. Thanks also go to Jane Wisonga, Isaiah Atakora, for their contributions. On behalf of our executive producer, Moses Adediji, my name is Ben Fullerton. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on all our social media platforms, visit our website at www.nabntv.com or email us at info at nabntv.com.